Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to display a GIF, which is like a moving image in animation in the layout of your Android app. So those who don't know, GIF is a, the full form is graphics interface format and it was, I think, built around a few decades back, 1987. And this is popularly used to create a kind of animated image, which is like a very short video, which moves on. So I already have uh, got one image, uh, one GIF called bird.gif and if I can open and show it, it's a flying bird which we like to or will try to show in our Android app. So let's begin, let's create a new project. The implementation is very simple and I'll just create an empty project, name this project as GIF image app. Uh, you can name this anything and just click finish wait for the environment to load in the meantime i'll show you that we'll be using uh, this library uh, in our dependency so we'll be using this from the maven uh, repository and the latest version you can always go and check the latest version available right now it's 1.2.25 so that's the version what i'll use 25 1.2.25 version but yeah, I will post this link in my uh, description below. But uh, yeah, just check uh, this version. My environment is still loading up, so I will have to wait. Perfect. So my environment is uh, loaded. And uh, I think what I can do now, first and foremost, I can start this uh, uh, emulator also in parallel on the right hand side. So let me just trigger that. Let the environment, uh, let the emulator come up. And in parallel, uh, first and foremost thing what we have to do is we have to add a dependency in our build.gradle file at the module level. Uh, okay, so go into the second file and over here we can just add the dependencies very quickly. So we can just add this implementation, control C, control V, single quotes and then for a name we can go to our uh, uh, this place and we can copy paste this name probably, yeah, control C. If I come back to my environment, control V and just call on 1.2.25. Yeah, perfect. Now, after you've done this, uh, click on sync now and wait for the uh, sync to happen. It may uh, depend, so yeah, it may take a while for sync to happen. In the meantime, what I can see is on the right hand side, my this has come up. The, uh, app on the emulator but as of now I'll just minimize my emulator I don't need this and I think sync is complete so perfect I don't need this project window as well I'll just minimize that and I'll go to the layout <coughs> the XML layout I don't think I need a text view I'll just close it and I'll go to the probably code view or split view whichever you prefer I'll, I, I think I'll go to the split view and add my uh, layout here. Uh, what I can see is something is amiss here. Probably the ending. Okay, let me do Control Z, undo my last operation. And if I undo uh, the text view which I deleted, yeah. So I, okay, I was basically looking for this uh, this tag. So it's here. So I, okay, for timing I'll just keep text view. I'll delete it later. And I want to include the uh, widget which we have just now added in our uh, builder cradle which is nothing but this I can just probably copy paste from here until I think GIF control C and if I go back to my layout and after this I can use something called yeah GIF so you can see the various options we are getting so I can use GIF image and within a height it's asking I can use match parent or probably I can just give some random number for a timing, probably 300 and over here also 300 and I think that's it. Okay, I think why it's giving in red is probably it's expecting. So if you notice over here, the width is coming in. I have to add DP, that's it. So just add the DP here. Is yeah, and also we may have to add some constraints. So add the constraints. Okay. So now what I will do is I will probably uh, minimize the palette. I don't need a palette. So if you notice it's coming somewhere in the 
upper right corner okay now i can go ahead and delete this hello world i don't need this and i like to bring it in some way in the center perfect okay and also we may have to give the source for this particular uh, image so what i'll do is i'll quickly copy this file control c or you can do control c or copy from here and come to your environment in the project and under probably java no not java sorry about that uh, resource folder yeah we can paste it over here and it may ask us to choose i think i will choose probable only and click ok and it will ask you to confirm the file name and click ok and that file and the gif file will get copied here now i can again minimize this and now i can set the source of this so to add source either i can add directly in the layout here okay probably i can do like this so android dot src and here i can give the file okay it's anyway coming on the top so well and good so that's okay so you can see the file has come otherwise what you can do is in the attribute also you can just search with source and you can give that same name here so it doesn't matter whether you enter it here or directly in the layout uh, it will come up so of course in this is static but once we start playing this in our uh, or running this in our emulator i'm pretty sure it will come as a gif image so i've rerun it and waiting for my environment to load in the meantime i'll just probably switch back to the design view because i think coding part is done and i can minimize this also because now i don't want to see the uh, attributes and let's the environment come up perfect if you are noticing the bird the flying bird is coming so this is the way the gif image if i go and quickly display so yeah uh, the gif image is coming so just want to summarize here if you use the default image viewer of your uh, uh, the image viewer from the palette that may not have this functionality to show the gif the moving the image the animation however if you use this uh, library uh, uh, this dependency uh, the pl droids um, gif and gif drawable it it will work it should work yeah so that's all uh, I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.